Hi, it's 10 Digit Design again. Today I'm going to film a tutorial um, that is inspired by the this the print on these slippers. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'll show you now what I'm going to be using today. First, I need a brown base color. So I chose this one, which is pure ice in the color scandal it's like a really dark brown um, then uh, after I put two coats of this on and it's dry I'm going to use a dotting tool um, like these ones I'm trying to find <laughs> the camera okay I mean the lens like these ones and I'm going to dot on some white this is Sally Hansen hard as nails and hard to get um, because this will help the colors of the dots that I'm going to use to like stand out so it doesn't just look like dull against a brown background. Then I'm going to be using just a bunch of bright colors for the dots. And um, this green is NYC Highline Green. I'm going to be using dries instantly at one point. I'm going to be using a matte top coat so it's more like a slipper. I'm going to be using NYC Spring Street, um, Avon Shock, and this pink LA Colors polish, and a red. This is Rimmel Burgundy Flirt. It's like just a really dark red. Okay, so I'll start to paint my nails now. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to do a second coat, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I'm back, and now I have um, two coats of this. I sort of could use three. It's a little streaky in a couple spots, but I don't care that much, so I'm just going to leave it like this. And now I'm actually going to put a couple studs on my nails first, just to give it some 3D effect. Um... I had forgotten to tell you about the studs at the beginning. So what I do when I put on studs is put some, like put a dot of top, top coat uh, where I want the stud and then I um, stick it on. <laughs> I just pick it up with a nail dotting tool too so it's, it's I think tweezers is pretty hard to pick up a um, stud with. So what I do is put a little dot right there, like just on a paper. Then I'll take a dotting tool and put a little dot on my finger. Then stick in the smaller end, pick up the stud that I have over here, and stick it on. So that's what it looks like. This, um, this is a little two millimeter pink stud I got from Born Pretty Store. So now I'm gonna put on a couple studs on my other nails. So now I have some studs. I'm going to use these just as um, like the center of one of the little circles where it has a bunch of dots surrounding it. I don't know what to call that. So now um, what I'm going to do is put white dots around them because um, it will let the other colors that I have like stand out on top. So I will put on some white dots like this. Um, then I will let them dry and then put colored dots on. So what I'm going to do is 
Hmm, I think I'm gonna use this really, um, oh, I can't find the camera. Small dotting tool. Um, and that will make me be able to fit a lot. So I'm just gonna do rings of little white dots. I'm going to do a bigger circle of white dots around this way. And then I'm going to put a couple random dots in there. Just like over there, these ones will be like different colors. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to do that on um, my other nails too. And I'm going to use this slightly bigger one for the center on this nail. colors once I finish doing this on my other nails. Hello again. So here is all the white dots. I mean here are all the white dots. And now I'm going to fill them in with colors. First I'm using um, this NYC Highline Green. And I'm going to dots though. Okay, so I think you also get the picture of this. Um, I'm gonna keep on going, and at the end, I will have the picture of my final product with the matte top coat. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if this is really long. I'm gonna try to edit out a lot and speed it up.
I hope by the time you watch it, that's already been done. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.